We are back in the Del Marva Life Kitchen where we're getting ready for round two of our back to school lunch ideas. With us this afternoon, registered dietitian Allison Hickman. So what, what are we doing now? So now we are going to make a lunch sushi and just a disclaimer, there is no raw fish, no, no <laughs> raw anything. This is a little different twist. So what we're going to do is assemble what we have here. Um, the lunch sushi, so we have some chicken, some vegetables, cheese, and some rice, so you're getting all the food groups in one. But we have a cucumber, and yes. that is basically the what wraps it all up. Exactly, that's what holds it together. Okay, well so, where do we start? I see you've already cut and like centered yep. out the, the cucumbers. That's right, so I cut a few cucumbers and just hollowed them out on the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out where the camera yeah. is. <laughs> like right over here. Mm -hmm. um, so that way that'll kind of create your base. So I always like to start with the rice and kind of create a little layer of rice on the inside of the cucumber because um, it kind of sticks everything together. So okay. you can take it and spoon it and just pat it right on the inside. So that is sushi rice. It's a little stickier than normal yeah. rice, but that's the purpose. So I want to make it so that it stays on the outside of the inside. <laughs> Does that right. make sense? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that's, I kind of just do one half. Oh. So it just makes it a little easier that way. Are you going to try this? I'm, I'm watching you. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to jump in here just any moment. So what I like to do is if you kind of look here, um, I just do it along. So if here's your cucumber, just along one edge. So that oh. way you're kind of layering it up. Okay. Just makes it easier. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was trying to make it so you could put all the other ingredients in the middle. In the middle of that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that would have been a great idea that too. That would have been a great idea. It just would have been complicated. Okay. Right. The good news is there's no wrong way. Oh, good. Um, so then you can start with whatever you want next. I tend to like to start with the vegetables. So either the peppers or the carrots. Um, mm -hmm. They're in nice strips, so you can just stick them right in there. Nice and easy. Okay. Mm-hmm. About four or so? Sure, yeah. I did um, two to four depending on the size. Okay. Perfect. And, and then, then some carrots. Some carrots. Yep. And then just remembering to leave room for your cheese and your chicken. Oh boy. <laughs> you can always take it and cucumber. squish it to the side if you need to with the chopstick or with the edge of the spoon. Oh, I, I, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the cheese. Right. Gotta leave room for the cheese. Oh, that's the most important thing. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of double it down a little bit. Yep. And <laughs> no, you're doing a great job. And the tighter you pack it, it's going to be easier to cut because it'll stay in place. So you're doing a great job. So in other words, once she stuffs it, then she's going to cut it into the slices. She's like going to cut have. it into slices. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Should be nice. And don't be afraid to flip it over too if you need to go do something from the other end. Did, oh, there's all my rice. Perfect. <laughs> See, that's okay. And that can be fun too because then each slice could be a little something different. There you go. Yeah. Little surprise in every Little bite. Little surprise. There you go. All right, we're gonna just shove that down in there. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. So we think we got it. What huh? do you think of that, Jimmy? I think it's right there. All right. <laughs> Boy. So when you're ready, you can take this. Now this is sharp, so be careful. Oh, okay. It's a fish knife and yeah, cut it into slices. Yeah, you know she handed it to Lisa. <laughs> There's a good reason for that. I know that. who to trust. So I sometimes like to hold my hand on the outside, if you can, just to make sure it all sticks in place. Oh, you mean like this? Yep. Don't cut yourself. I know. <laughs> it's like, stay in place. We, cut my finger off. We have peppers and cheese and carrots and finger. <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh look at you. Nice. You did a great job. That looks really good. <laughs> All shoved in there no, nicely. That looks awesome. All right. Really great. I'm going to just keep cutting it. Now, we're not done yet. You have some other. Um, to add to it? Add to it. Some wasabi. Some, oh, of oops, course. So I you have to have that on the side. So. Um, I do have some wasabi here and then also some spicy mayo. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Look at you. Man, oh, man. All right. So whenever you're done and you get it like you want, you can dress it with a spicy mayo, which I use light mayonnaise and a little bit of sriracha mixed together. Mm -hmm. and you don't need a lot. Um, just to give it a little flavor, you can drizzle that on there. And then for an extra kick, some wasabi, if you're not afraid of a little spice. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. All right. You like spicy. Well, you got a wasabi one of them at least. Yeah, I'm gonna wasabi. I'm gonna wasabi. Don't your. get too crazy. But Jimmy, you love hot I do. spicy. Oh, there you, you go. Think you can one, handle all that wasabi. That one's yours right there. Go ahead, taste it. It's mine. I'm oh, taking man. it. Oh man. Lisa, well done. Alyssa, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's definitely a twist on sushi. And it's healthy. Yes. And fun. fantastic. Can't beat it. Thank you so much, Al. Yeah. Thank you.